So it's a thing in some maths exams that you have to give names to what you're doing. Um, let's look at, so let's just quickly look at this, then I'll discuss it a bit more afterwards. If you've got two parallel lines, I've just highlighted that they're parallel. These two angles here are going to add up to 180 degrees. So 180 degrees total, and that's called interior. Can you? They, they're kind of on the inside of the parallel lines. If you go on the inside of the parallel lines, yeah, because you can draw the parallel line arrows anywhere you like. But if you do it on alternating sides, then they're going to be the same angle, so the same size angle. Okay, vertically opposite. Maybe this is called vertically opposite because often this is drawn vertically. But basically, if you've got a point and you've got two straight lines going through it, then pretty obviously these are going to be the same. I'm not a fan of the fact you have to give this a name in exams because surely the important thing is you get is that you understand maths and how it works, not that you have to give a name to it. I, I don't know. Uh, there are counter arguments. Anyway, that's called vertically opposite. What does corresponding mean? Well, again, these are parallel lines. Basic. <sighs> I, I, I think this name makes a lot of sense. I find this easiest to remember, personally, because I can see, oh yeah, one corresponds to the other. So they're the same. Are you wondering why? Well, <laughs> there's going to be a few explanations of why, and a lot of the explanations of why are actually, I would argue, won't answer the question, because they're just going to give you another question. The fundamental reason, I would say, is that the way we experience the universe, where we live in the universe, space-time, or at least space, is the way we experience it flat. It's nearly flat. So if you imagine yourself at this point, I've just put a little green dot down, and imagine you walked over here and then you stopped here, and given that these are parallel lines, there's basically, if you actually measured those angles, they're at 180 degrees, and for a lot of people, you look at that and you go, yeah, that kind of makes sense. I can see how that's obvious. That's obviously true. <coughs> and often the word obviously true is used for really fundamental things, because we can't ultimately can't really prove it unless you go out there and draw lots of them and measure the angles and go, oh, look, if I keep doing this over and over again, appears to be a pattern. 